How you doing? Ken Sr. here. We're on the first floor of the New England Motorcycle Museum. And this is a bike I got really excited about from the minute I saw the pictures. I was like, wow, look at this thing. And they told me the miles, 2,023 miles, barely any miles on it. My friend John from Virginia, sadly, uh, his entire collection of motorcycles is getting put up for auction. About 30 bikes, uh, including these two, the five behind us over here, the six over there, and a dozen of them that are parted out. John was a motorcycle restoration a uh, guy, aficionado, a collector, and he was in the process of redoing this one, and he contracted some health issues. He's in assisted living now. He's getting up there in the 70s. He, basically, time just got, got uh, a hold of him, uh, and he wasn't able to, before he could get to finishing these bikes, but look at the paint job on this thing. The red, white, and blue paint. The chrome on the bike is, is a 10. It's probably the nicest 50-year-old chrome I've seen on any motorcycle that's come through that was original. Guys, this is not a restored bike. This is all original. There's been no paint put on this thing. All original paint, all the, all the, the, the uh, fittings and cycle parts on this thing are the original ones. This is a twin cylinder, two stroke, dual carb, just an absolutely beautiful piece of dual exhaust. The original um, dual exhaust in this thing is that, if you look at it from the back, I've never seen a, a bike with an exhaust quite like this one. Check this out. It's like a, like a dual shotgun high pipes on both sides. Very, very cool. Had turn signals on it from the factory front and rear. Um, it's oil injected and it is a pretty cool piece. So now this bike was an evolution from the T20. They called this one the Hustler for good reason. It would do damn near close to 100 miles per hour. I'm pretty sure uh, we, look, we looked it up, what was the top speed on it? 90 miles an hour. 90 miles an hour. It's a, it's a 250 twin cylinder. So it's like having two 125 motocross bikes strapped into a dual down tube, long travel frame here. Nice set of telescopic forks. But guys, really, really what made me fall in love with this bike was this. The, the metallic blue, the red, white, and blue paint job. That's the original factory paint on this thing. Um, the chrome, the high pipes. It came from the factory with, with this beautiful chrome front fender, beautiful chrome forks beautiful chrome wheels, polished aluminum, like the fit and finish Suzuki did on this bike is second to none. Now this was designed to be an on off-road bike, so it came from the factory with, with the dual purpose tires. I'm 99.9% .9 sure we checked the tires. These are, the, as far as we can tell, the original tires on the bike. Everything on the bike is original. The handlebars, the, uh, the mirrors, this is original Suzuki badged mirror. The gas, look at the gas cap on this thing. It's just, it's, it's like a work of art. Guys, this bike's 50 years old, 5-0. The inside of the tank is, looks super clean, as does the outside. The, um, the bike is just absolutely freaking gorgeous. Um, now, John was in the process of working on this. He had the, dismantled the engine and uh, never got a chance to, to finish putting it back together properly, so it's gonna need some, uh, probably a top end, pistons, rings, basin head gaskets, but these are super easy to work on and parts are available. Uh, Kyle, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean these are these are known to be really kick-ass bikes. I mean they uh, they were um, a predecessor from the Suzuki T20, which so these are an, a developing model. Um, this isn't something new that Suzuki came out with. This was a model that's being refined and you know uh, redesigned as time went on. And uh, they are also known to be um, a contribution to Suzuki's great success in the 1970s. So yeah, these are a cool bike, wicked cool profile to it. Um, it's definitely a statement. I mean, if, if you brought this thing anywhere, everyone would be asking you all about it. I mean, this is just a cool looking bike. I've never seen one. I've been to Daytona 30 years in a row. I've never seen one of these on the strip. Super rare color combo. I don't think they made too many of these, uh, the production stats, and I'm sure most of them, since it was non off road, got ridden into the ground. And the first thing most guys would do would probably rip off the mirrors and the, and the turn signals and a lot of the lights and, 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 and race them off road. The other thing I thought was really cool, come, come back to this, George, back here. The, the grab rail on it has this like swoop. I've never seen a grab rail quite like this on a motorcycle. It swoops forward like that, or a high dual exhaust, or a, the tail light is like, kind of like, looks like the, the twin jet, you know, um, engines on the back. And it just has a really cool, uh, really cool look. A lot of red on the tail light and the turn signals, um, contrasting with the chrome and the red, white, and blue paint. Again, what got me on this bike, when, when they sent me the pictures of the collection, this was the one, uh, and there's some really cool bikes in this collection. You've got Interceptors, you've got Harley Davidsons, you've got Hondas and Armakis and, and uh, Suzuki TM400 and 
Kawasaki A7 Avengers. There's all kinds of cool bikes in this collection that John had. Matter of fact, um, I probably should have done a walk around and shown everybody, but we have so many bikes to do. There's over 30 bikes that we have to picture and photo on this, so we don't have to, uh, a lot of time, but they'll all be on the channel. This thing just, they had me at hello. Just the, the, the glistening chrome, the polished aluminum, the red, white, and blue paint. Uh, just a freaking cool piece in 2,000 miles. Come on. It's got, you know, this is one of those good news, bad news things. Uh, it needed, someone, either they ran it out of oil. I'm not sure why it needed engine in, interference. Now, maybe John is just a perfectionist and he wanted to take it apart and, and make sure it was perfect. But uh, with 2,000 miles, none of the components are worn out on it. Everything's like brand new. The, everything that you look at on the bike is like brand new. But uh, so the good news is everything's like brand new. The bad news is he never finished it. It's going to need a top end redo uh, chain and a couple other small things. And you're going to have yourself one world class classic. So bid high and bid off. And I don't see another one like this coming up anytime soon. T250 Hustler with 2000 original miles fresh out of a collection that would not have been up for sale if John didn't lose his health. Because th these were his babies. He loved these things. Um, the exhaust, the... Um, Look at the look at the the chrome, uh, the, the fit and finish on on the cr the chrome the, the styling of the of the of the uh, heat shield is just freaking gorgeous, man. Uh, this is going on display. The badge on the side. This is going on display on the on the second excuse me third floor of the New England Motorcycle Museum. Two floors above us here. It's going up on the elevator today. If you want to take a look at it, it'll be on display in the museum. It is a museum quality classic. Uh, that just is not in running condition, but it's going to be an easy fix. Um, 2,000 miles, it's basically, it's like a time capsule. Anyways, thanks for watching. I could ramble about it all day. I really love this bike. I hope it goes to a good home. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.